Okay. Hi, my name is Richard Craig. I'm from Dudley and Ferry Wines, and I import uh, Austrian wines from wine.let. L-E-T-H, not actually H. And um, I chose them as uh, a producer because I was looking for a Austrian producer which produced red and white wines. Um, because there's a large amount of white wines available from Austria, but less on the red side. And although Let are a white wine producer, and, and their biggest wine is for sure Gouda Veltliner, um, they do make some interesting and elegant uh, reds as well. So do you supply the on-trade and do you sell direct to consumers too? 90% um, of my business is on-trade um, and uh, a few uh, private customers and a few uh, re specialist retailers. So what's the real strength of Austrian wine? Most people have heard of Gruner, felt they know. What, what do you think is the real strength of the wines as a whole? Um, for me it's purity uh, and varietal characters and uh, value for money, actually you really get a good glass of wine from a Green about there or a Rote about there um, and, and actually some beautiful, beautiful Pinot Noirs. But they are quite highly priced compared with other countries, would you say or not? Well, I still think they're value for money yeah. and, and, and price is, is an issue clearly in these times, but I think they, they deliver bang for the buck as it were yeah. and, and uh, I think that's worth um, having. Regarding red varieties, what would you say are the strengths? Spiegelt we've heard of, Lau Frankish we've heard of. What do you think is the sort of way forward in the reds in the UK market? Well, um, I think Pinot Noir uh, always sells very well, whether it's from Burgundy, whether it's from New Zealand, whether it's uh, from Austria. I, I, I think um, the one that uh, Franz Lett makes is very pure, very elegant, it has no wood whatsoever, um, and it's a lighter style, it's not big and dark, it's, it's, it's one which can be you know, drunk on its own or, or with, with light, light foods. Yeah, so uh, you'd say that that's a good um, one to have in a range when people are looking for interesting different Pinot Noirs? Well, uh, interesting and, and also a good entry into the other reds of, um, yeah. of Austria, so the Zweigelt and, and, and the like. Um, so so it's, it's a good wine to have um, throughout, throughout the uh, your meal. And, do you, is there enough supply of Austrian wines? I mean, they are quite small in quantity compared with other countries. Well, that's part of their charm. Um, and also, I think uh, Franz Let, 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 Let does make quite a large amount of wines and he sells a lot to System Lagerton in Sweden. Um, but his single vineyard wines, which are his you know, top end and, yeah. and beautiful, um, are in small quantities. But, but that's part of their charm. Yeah, uh, absolutely. If, if they're available everywhere, um, yeah. we could buy from anywhere. But, exactly. but, but these, are, these are special and, and interesting yeah. and have real character, but are not um, not so outlandishly priced that, that yeah. they're beyond anyone's pocket. Great. Um, can you just give us the name of your website? Yeah, DudleyandTheFlurry.com. That's fantastic. Thanks a lot. Brilliant. Bye.